Lesson one on trigonometric identities. In this lesson, we are proving trigonometric identities. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. In part A of this example, we are required to show that one plus sine alpha divided by cos alpha is identical to cos alpha divided by one minus sine alpha. Now let's consider the left-hand side of that trigonometric identity. Now we are going to say one plus sine alpha divided by cos alpha is the same thing as one plus sine alpha divided by cos alpha multiplied by one minus sine alpha divided by one minus sine alpha. It is the same thing because if you divide this by that, you're going to get one. Now let's expand what we have. We are going to say, if we multiply these two, remember the difference of two squares. We are going to have one minus sine squared alpha divided by cos alpha into one minus sine alpha. At this stage, we are going to use the square identity. The square identity says cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha is equal to one. And that means cos squared alpha is equal to one minus sine squared alpha. So we are going to use that identity on the numerator. So we are going to say now this is equal to cos squared alpha because we said cos squared alpha is equal to one minus sine squared alpha. So we put cos squared alpha on the numerator. So we are going to have cos squared alpha divided by cos alpha into one minus sine alpha, like that. Now, if you divide cos squared alpha by cos alpha, you are going to get cos alpha on the numerator. So we have cos alpha on the numerator divided by one minus sine alpha then we can say the left hand side is identical to the right hand side because this is what we have on the right hand side now let's look at part b of this example we are required to show that one over cos beta minus cos beta is identical to cos beta tan squared beta. Now, let's consider the left-hand side. We are going to say, so that's the left-hand side. We are going to say one over cos beta minus cos beta is equal to, now if you going to take the LCD, the lowest common denominator, and that is cos beta, we have cos beta on that. Then we say cos beta into cos beta, we get one times one. We are going to get one on that. Then we say there's a one on the denominator. One into that, we get cos beta times that cos beta. On top, we have minus cos squared beta. Again, I'll take you back to the square identity. You remember we said in the previous part of this example, we said sine squared beta plus cos squared beta is equal to one. Now you can see that sine squared beta is equal to one minus cos squared beta. All right. So we just going to use that square identity on the top part. So this is going to give us 
sine squared beta divided by cos beta. Now we can divide these two into parts. We are going to say this is equal to sine beta divided by cos beta multiplied by sine beta. All right. But there's an identity again that says tan beta is equal to sine beta over cos beta. So we are going to use that identity on that part. So this is going to give us tan beta. So we have tan beta sine beta. Again, we shall use that identity. From this identity, you see that sine beta is equal to cos beta tan beta, or rather tan beta cos beta. So we are going to say this is equal to tan beta multiplied by tan beta cos beta. And then we get our answer is tan squared beta cos beta. And then we can conclude that the left hand side is identical to the right hand side. We are done on this lesson on trigonometric identities. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. Enjoy your day.